It's your boy Sid and welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. I want to thank everyone for taking the time to view my videos and subscribe to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. If you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button below. Now today's topic, uh, I saw in a video uh, about Xavier Woods interview on Undisputed with Shannon Sharp um, and uh, Skip Bayley's. Um, Guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because, you know, there were certain things that he brought up in the video that I, I feel that I've been mentioning in my past videos. And I want to get your feedback, obviously, on this. So, um, guys, please don't forget to comment below. Ask me questions. I answer. Let me know what you think about what was said and so on. So, when he was asked about what he thought about the Dallas Cowboys 8-8 um, eight and eight, uh, season... Uh, he did come out and he was very honest and he says that we couldn't put it together um, with the talent that they had and the talent that they have. Um, we've all known this and we said this before and this is something that I've mentioned in my videos and I think a lot of people have said it. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys, you just didn't know who you were going to get on the, the, the on game day. You didn't know if you were going to get those guys that wanted to get that W, if you had those guys that, I don't know, just didn't go out and do what they were supposed to do. So, you know, I wasn't surprised with him saying that. Um, but he did say something that was interesting. Uh, and he said that it, it it was all the way from the top to the bottom. So it wasn't just a team that was responsible. It was a coaching thing. And, it, you know, like everybody had to take responsibility for that, and for the Dallas Cowboys season. And I totally agree. Um, you know, he said that we couldn't win those close games. And once they got down, they weren't able to come back. Uh, and the blame wasn't on one person. It was on everybody uh, as a team, you know, and I said it before and I remember saying this in my previous videos that everybody blamed Jason Garrett, but nobody was held accountable for uh, the drop balls, uh, our defense playing terrible, uh, our offense playing terrible, Dak Prescott having bad games, Zeke not doing what he was supposed to do. Like there was, and I could go on and on. And that's why I said that it wasn't, Yes, it was time to get Jason Garrett out of there. I believe that he didn't have what it took to be a head coach uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, but we also needed to blame the players because it, it wasn't just his fault. It was also the players. I mean, when, when the team won, nobody said that Jason put, you know, gave credit to Jason Garrett. But the minute they lost, everybody blamed Jason Garrett. So with that being said, I, like I said, I'm glad that somebody is actually coming out and saying it, yep. and I'm glad to say that, yes, it was the coach's fault, but it was also the player's fault. Now, um, he did say that Jason Garrett didn't have that, um, wasn't able to get those guys motivated, um, you know, put that fire under their belly to go out there and get that W. He didn't have that in him, and... And I've said this before, the players were never scared of him and he didn't have what it took to get the players to go out there and be consistent. So with Mike McCarthy coming in, I think that's something that's definitely gonna change. Now, of course, Shannon Sharp had to call the elephant in the room and he said that, guys, um, <sighs> that Jerry Jones has the power and the coaches and, Jerry, and Jason Garrett didn't have any power. And that's why, you know, that uh, a lot of this blame was put on Jason Garrett. But guys, and I've said it before, until a coach is able to grab those reins and you know get the players to be scared of, of the coach instead of being scared of Jerry Jones, um, we're not gonna win another Super Bowl. So that's my opinion. Please leave your comment below on what you think about what I just said. Now, he did say that Mark McCarthy coming in as a head coach is gonna bring new energy. Uh, to the Dallas Cowboys being that he won a Super Bowl ring and that alone um, motivates guys uh, knowing that, hey, there's a coach coming in that has the experience, has brought the team to the Super Bowl, has won a Super Bowl. So that alone should be enough drive to motivate these guys and to listen to what he's gonna have to say. Um, he said he wasn't sure about the defense, what kind of defense that Mark McCarthy was gonna be bringing to bringing into the Dallas Cowboys, whether they're going to run a 3-4 or 4-3 defense. Um, and he was asked if he known anything about uh, Mike Nolan. He said no, he wasn't aware of what Mike Nolan has done. But he does know that Mike Nolan uh, did a lot with the Saints and their defense was, was tight out there. So he's curious to see what 
Uh, Mike Nolan was going to bring to the Dallas Cowboys defense. defense. Um, now, <sighs> Shannon Sharp obviously started saying that, yeah, the Saints were good, but they had some dogs that, that were able to go after uh, the ball and go after the QB, and the Dallas Cowboys basically didn't have that. Um, and, you know, Xavier Woods went on to defend um, – his defensive team, which is the right thing to do. He did defend D-Law, saying that D-Law offensive teams were afraid of D-Law and they would always have two or three guys covering him. Uh, and I do believe that. But in the other aspect, I believe that D-Law wasn't the same this season. Um, he had half a sack in seven in the last seven games. Um, so, and like I've said it before, that you got to go out there. If you're being paid to do something, you got to go out there and do what you're being paid to do. Um... So in that aspect, I'm curious myself. I'm curious to see what Mike Nolan's going to do with the defense and what kind of fire he's going to light under these guys to uh, be able to get them to go out there and do what they're supposed to be doing. Um, one thing I was really happy to hear, and I keep saying that Dak is uh, is a leader. He's a, he's going to be an elite quarterback. He will be a quarterback that will be going into the Hall of Fame. Guys, remember where you heard it first. Um, but he did say that he, uh, Dak Prescott is a leader. Uh, the guys listen to him. The guys respect him. Uh, he's the first one in, last one out type of guy. And I was really happy to hear this. Guys, I want us to pay Dak the money that he deserves to be getting. Uh, and let's just get this guy signed. Uh, he's important. Uh, I believe that he's the next Dallas Cowboy QB that will bring us to that Super Bowl and get us that Super Bowl ring. Um, now, when Xavier, at the end of the interview, you know, obviously... They always ask the question that all players get asked. Where do you see the Dallas Cowboys next year? And Xavier Woods said, we're going to the Super Bowl. I believe if we get the right players, if we get the right players signed, if we get the right defense uh, going out there and doing what they're supposed to doing, our offensive guys going out there, our draft pick picking in the right guys, making the right moves, uh, and I believe that from what I can see so far, Mike, Mike McCarthy is starting to put those puzzle pieces together. I believe that the Dallas Cowboys will be in the Super Bowl next year. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's your boy, Sid. And I'm out.